Thank you, guys. Uh, so how do you guys feel about Obama? Yeah? OK. No, it's good. Because uh, a lot of people assume that I support Obama just because he's black and that I voted for him. And the question I have for you is, what makes you think a black man would pick another black man over a white woman? <laughs> When have we ever done such a thing? <laughs> you know, you know how many brothers I left at the club because I met a white girl? <laughs> oh, really? But the other reason why I'm a little bit lukewarm on Obama is because if Obama gets elected, then I no longer have an excuse for my failure in life. Because <laughs> racism has been working pretty well, <laughs> quite frankly, you know. Because my mom comes down like, boy, you need to get a job. I'm like, do you know how racist this society is? <laughs> do you know how oppressive it is outside? I can't get a job. Then Obama becomes president, and I go from oppressed to bum, <laughs> you know, in two seconds flat. Now I got to get a job because he wants to social climb. <laughs> you know, thank you, white guilt. <laughs> thank you very much. Because it's hard enough getting a job out there, you know, with the discrimination. Like, I go apply for a job, they want to schedule my interviews at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> if I could be productive that early, I would have a job. <laughs> okay. I'm unemployed for a reason. It's called lazy. <laughs> okay. And I'm sure that comes as a huge surprise to those of you who aren't racist. But I do happen to be extremely lazy. But I hate that stereotype felt that black people are lazy because it takes away my individuality. <laughs> you know, I have a right to feel special. <laughs> but uh, it's a crazy stereotype when you think about it. Because, like, how do you label an entire race as being lazy after they built your country? Mm -hmm. That's a little messed up. I think any man or woman is entitled to a vacation after hard work. Black people have been working hard for 300 years. So we took a couple generations off. <laughs> We'll be back on Monday. <laughs> Calm down. So uh, I am originally from Washington, D.C., uh, which is the crime capital of the world. Like, D.C. is the kind of place where you grow up as a kid and your pet turtle dies. Three days later, you find out it was drug-related. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to overcome. And I also grew up with very cheap parents. You know, like, my parents would do stuff like, in the wintertime, heat was for guests. <laughs> you know, so I'm inviting people over just because it's cold in the house. <laughs> you know? Do you know how hard it is to play Nintendo with mittens on? <laughs> you know, my company comes over, I'm sitting there in my winter coat, my hat and scarf. I'm like, Mom, this is ridiculous. Why don't you just turn the heat on? She's like, that's how you get your money's worth. <laughs> I didn't pay all that money for that coat just for you to wear it outside. <laughs> When I said you was going to wear it all winter, I meant all winter. <laughs> okay. and, uh, and my mother grew up on a farm, you know, so she had no sympathy for us at all. She'll tell us in a second, y'all don't know how good y'all got it. We was growing up, we didn't even have toilet paper. Grandma just told us to walk it off. <laughs> you know? Which is not what you want to hear about family. <laughs> Not at all. Um, all right, thank you guys. I'm, I'm Reese Waters. Thank you.